Hello, hello. Hello, hello. I've got a visitor here. You have a visitor? Oh, the long last penguin. Yes, okay. So uh, during the uh, live, was it yesterday? <laughs> I think I had a life in Oh my god. So uh, folks were asking, Judy was asking about my body, and I thought she was talking about you. <laughs> and she's like, no, 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 I mean. <laughs> and then uh, she Does was. Does that talking. mean that the penguin is more entertaining than me? <laughs> well, I thought she was talking about you. You know, and, I'm, and now she's like, no, no, I'm talking about the, the Frida Plush toy. So this is Buster. He's been uh, um, guarding the cookie cutters. Oh, he's so he's, he probably is not. He probably is suffering with social anxiety now. You know. Oh, <laughs> he's been must there be, yeah. for months and months. He was in little lockdown there, so but he's back. Hello, Heather, June, Shirley, Cynthia, Karen. Hello, hello. Hi, Joseph. Hi, Karen. Hi, Karen. I could. I didn't see your comments yesterday. I don't know why. I Hello, Cheryl. Sh I'm guessing Cheryl. Sh Sherry, I think it is. Joseph. Hello, Lisa. Olga. Hello, hello. Hey, I love uh, Yes, I also love her haircut. Hi, Leon. Hello. Welcome, everybody. And so today, um, I. Uh, I don't know what the heck I was thinking, but I wasn't feeling Halloweenish today, so I'm not doing Halloween. Are you doing Halloweenish? I am actually doing Halloween. Halloween. You know, today I told you what happened. I locked myself out of my own house, so um, I, yeah. I couldn't really. <laughs> yeah, very cool. Uh, I left the keys inside, <laughs> and uh, yeah, my husband wasn't here, so I had to kind of like, okay, wait. Um, so um, I'm doing Halloween, something unexpected, but um, well, not not completely unexpected. So I hope you will like it. We we're headed for the holiday season, and we always um, emphasize our, uh, on um, on preparing ahead of time, right? Yes, yes. Um, so I'm gonna do some realizing transfers, and then um, first I'm going to do um, vampire cookies, vampire cheese cookies. Very nice. Very nice. That's what I'll be doing. And what are you going to be doing? Hello, Lynn. I'm, um, well, are you working in Royal Icing? Yes, I am. You are? Well, I'm staying in my buttercream theme. I'm working on cookies today. And I did add a little, a, like, small supply list to the coffee shop. So if you guys yeah. enjoy enjoy the lives, you can uh, support us uh, on coffee. There's the link. And it's uh, in the ticker there at the bottom. So I did add the supply list today. I'm working on buttercream dog cookies. You, you did buttercream last week as well, right? Yeah. And, and so, do you, do you have those to show? Uh, I don't know if they're still up in the photos that we have here. The and staff. is this regular American buttercream or what kind of buttercream? Yeah, it's using? American buttercream. Oh, and I'll just mention the candy corn um, designs there. That's in the coffee shop on. Um, yeah, percent off this for today. I've had it reduced for the week. Okay. Okay. So I'm gonna go first hand because uh, my buttercream might get okay, tempted. You go ahead. Go ahead, darling. Go ahead. So, Hello, Lindsay. Good afternoon. Hello. Welcome. Let's, let's so do the going to, I'm gonna do a little. Um, are you? Oh, you doing it all? I was going to do the dance. I did the dance. I did the dance. All right. So um, normally, little guy is this Daisy? No, Daisy's. Uh, well, she's a very similar looking dog, but she's all blonde. She is, but they still it could be Daisy. So Shirley, uh, not really. You can't really bag them up, but they are good for other applications. If you have a decorating party with people that are maybe not as you know, newbies, I want to say. It's a little bit more well, kind of fast and fun. Depending on buttercream you're using. So I, I use buttercream with melted butter, and it actually crusts pretty hard. Like, oh, it's yeah. not, like, hard, like, real icing, but it does crust. I don't know how it would do with the, because I see you have some, you have a nice amount yeah. of buttercream on there. I don't know how I it wouldn't would bag do. these myself. I wouldn't bag oh, these. Oh, he's so cute. Anyway, so um, let's see here. 
Yeah, are but you, it's just... Are you taking suggestions? Because I have a suggestion for What's you. What's your suggestion? Well, I would like you to do a uh, buster in buttercream. Oh, well, I don't have... Maybe eventually he'll... Not today, not today, not today. For the future. For, for the, the future. future. Okay. Do you know what I do? I'll do you know my to-do list. I'll leave him in in this this window. Okay. As weird as it is. So this recipe, I don't know if you guys can see, these cookies are quite thick. And this has um, baking powder and baking soda. And this is Han's recipe. You'll find it on her blog. And Han, if you want to pop oh, your blog oh, on. Is this, is this uh, the soft uh, sour yes, cream cookies? Yes, these are quite soft. These are almost like little cakey, right? They're like, I want to say yes, a cake. And I find that they pair so nicely with the buttercream these i put a little bit of cinnamon in them along with the vanilla and oh, nice. they are so good so if you guys have not tried this recipe you should totally try it mm -hmm. i've not seen it makes a lot of cookies it does it's make a lot of cookies. five cups of flour it does make quite a lot of cookies but they do freeze well they do freeze very well and the other thing i want to mention is if you're new to cookie decorating and, and baking, that the dough is stickier than what maybe you're accustomed to. Yes. So maybe roll if you have parchment paper or something. And uh, yeah, it's just, that's normal. If you find that it's very sticky, it's normal. It's more cakeish batter than cookie batter, cakeish. Yes. Right? And I cut a little oh. small just for the size like to have a bit more dimension on the on the nose part instead of just having a big blob of icing uh, cynthia i only added half a teaspoon i didn't want it to be so overpowering that's nice so I here cinnamon in everything so here i'm just adding a slight little guideline for myself to see it where the nose is going to be go. a really cute pig too that was like the smell oh, yeah yeah. I mean, the, the little extra cookie is a little surprise for them to eat too, you know, like. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I didn't, I wasn't expecting it that. Well, instead of a big blob of buttercream. So yeah, I I was looking for like a soft cookie and Han is the only one that had like a recipe that seemed, and I made it a long time ago and liked it then. And I just now, since we started doing the buttercream, I, I went back to it. So this is a small star. Uh, people like I've seen a lot of tutorials. They use the the grass tip, and you can certainly use that. The star tip is just something that a lot of people have. It's one of the really basic tips, so that's why I'm using the star. It's like one that's more common in people. This is uh, the number eighteen. Why is the uh, icing not coming out? Why is it always got to be complicated? <laughs> Let me see here. Hello, Bonnie, Bonnie face. This is so weird. It's not coming out? Like, it's, I oh, just... Well, American body cream can crust, no? I mean, if you add... But Han, I just made it, like, it's not like I was at this yesterday. I made it, like, I just, just not long ago. All right, let's try again. I just emptied it. Oh, I have no idea what's happening, but I'm going to try to muscle through all right, so I'm doing the star tip pulling down towards the, so I've got it more at an angle for me here. So I'm doing stars and, and you're just like, it's pressure release, pressure release. You see right at the edge. Now you can color your dog, obviously any color you want. Here I'm adding, I'm skipping where the nose is right there. I'm skipping it and I'm just doing these little kind of dots that are not straight up. Yeah slightly angled to the side. Oh, like, I mean, Amber is watching. So here is Buster. He says, hello. Hello, Amber. And now I'm doing the brown. Is that one going to work? What is the do you brown? Have, do you have trouble coloring uh, American buttercream? No. It colors really nicely, right? There's no, no, I've never had problem with, uh, unlike with Swiss buttercream, which I love, but Swiss buttercream is so difficult to color. I mean, I've learned how to color it, but it, you know, if you don't know how, it can be quite uh, tricky. So this is the same, the same, just brown. 
and I'm starting from the bottom and working my way up and layering them slightly to give like the impression of like fur. And I'm leaving the ear part kind of bare and I'm turning it slightly for this side. Camille is asking, why did you, uh, why did you angle the star dip to the side? Well, it just lays more. I don't know if you can see it, like looks like layered fur, you know? Yeah. Instead of like sticking right up, like a cactus spike kind of a thing, I want to, you know? So it looks a little bit more like fur that would rest down, like mimicking mm -hmm. what gravity would kind of do, you know? No, it makes sense. And do you think the pink is going to come out? You'd swear, like it, it's so weird. Oh, well, really? You just made it and it's coming not coming out? It's just, just, just made it. This morning, I told you I spent two hours with the cell phone company. They increased our bill by $30. I guess they always hope that we're not going to notice. And then it takes two hours to resolve it. No, I think they hope nobody's going to bother, you know, because well, it this, takes so long. This is a 102 uh, pedal tip. And I'm just basically adding a pedal to make a little tongue you see there oh and then, <laughs> this is so cute and then i'm squishing my little my little nose my little dimension oh, i see nose. you doing all different animals with this shape sure exactly yes cactus dogs no <laughs> well well the dog can get hurt right if they uh kind of try to sniff a cactus and get a well, worse fighting their nose that's not pleasant and now i'm just finished oh, here i'm trying to i'm trying to get in a okay oh you're good you're good you're you're you have good space and then the other side you see how i'm just like kind of creating a bit like that crack that's in between their little their little um, muzzle. Oh, Diana is asking what kind of cookie cutter did you use? That's, that's a bear. Oh, it's a bear, bear cutter. I don't even think, I don't think I have that. I've been looking for black sixlet. So this is a black. Oh, is that, is that a, bell, a jelly bean? It is. You see no where it goes? Perfect. And I've been looking for that black sixlets, which I cannot find anywhere. Oh, black six. No, I don't think I've I've seen black. But this works well for the shape. And this is black pearls, which I don't love because they're kind of hard. I didn't have. I would use preferably um, chocolate chips, but I don't have any. My. Well, yeah, my, that's uh, you could turn it upside down and have the point facing the facing the buttercream. Yeah, yeah, yeah that's a good idea. Yeah, is loving the little tongue keeping peeking out. And now I'm switching to a bigger piping tip. This is a. 18 or 20 and i in my supply list i got i put the link on aliexpress a huge nine piece star tip all the different sizes for like three dollars so and the supply here, list it's it's uh, located in marlin's template shop on uh in her coffee shop that's it so let me uh grab i'm link. basically doing a swirl here starting here going around and you see so you can do the ears any way you want. I just, I thought that was cute. And if you have a little bow mold, you could put little bows. You know now that dog, when it goes to the groomer, it looks fancier than we do. So that's one. Oh, you have more than, you have two dogs? Well, I'll they, just do it. Good. You I'll just do another. You have two different dogs? No, it's always better when you have two dogs right exactly then, and the guidelines yeah, are just helpful me. the guidelines are just helpful and i like breaking up the because you know like if it's all brown it just gets i don't know it's a bit boring right just kind of changing up the colors a little bit everybody is loving it it's so cute this would work. Agree. It looks very complicated, but once you kind of break it down into sections and um, you do that, it makes it easy, yeah, it's, it's easier. It's yeah. Not, uh, my buttercream has warmed up. It's going better. Oh, I, yeah, I can see. I can tell. So now I'm doing the opposite version of what I just did. 
and you see my piping tip, I'm just pulling them a little bit to the side and it just looks a little bit more like hanging fur. Mm -hmm. Let's pop our little, mm -hmm. oh, no, oh, no, the, no. The, the, the little tongue, yes. I forgot my tongue, but it's forgiving. I could just lift it off. And now I'm gonna rest that little petal there. And let's smush. Heather is asking, how, how about a cat? How would you do that? See, I'm telling you, you're going to do this every, every Tuesday because there well, are so the many cat, things you can do. The cat, um, you would need, I think, like to brush on maybe a little bit of the pink on like flat and then you could outline with like a big round. Oh yeah, that's true, yeah. And then do the same fur thing. Gray and white dog would be cute as well. Yes, it would. I mean, infinite and, possibilities. And yeah, exactly. I don't like this as much as the other one for some reason. What, the color? Yeah. Placement? Mm -hmm. Once you add the jelly bean, it's going to come together. Huh. I'm not digging it. You're not digging it? I'm not digging it. Here, let me just do. Yeah, add that and it will change. Everything kind of takes on a different perspective once you add all the details. You see how fast you can like whip it together with the buttercream? So that's the thing that's fun about it. And if you're not, if it's for like the serve at your house, just something different. So the jelly bean, I actually saw, so I hate black jelly beans. I don't know how everybody feels about black jelly beans. I'm not a fan of eating them, but I saw. I've never had a black jelly bean. I don't know. It's, it's, a, it's anise there, that the spice. So it's oh, like, it's about that I do like anise. And so um, I saw online that a company came out with black cherry, but it's sold out everywhere. Oh, I guess lots of people eating jelly beans. I guess so. So this one here, I'm just gonna put a bit more white. I'm gonna try a different ear. June likes black jelly beans. Mm, wow. They're gonna, be, they're gonna be on sale <laughs> right after Halloween. So you can pick them up and they make awesome reindeer noses. Yes, for your black Christmas cherry cookie. jelly beans. And the orange ones that you get also 50% off after Halloween make awesome snowman carrots. Right? So I'm just doing like a, like that okay. hang. I like them both. The one on the, on the left is a female and the one on the right, well, it's a male. It's so hard. I just, to yeah, that's how I say, do you guys see it that way? So there, you see, it's just yeah, fast. So cute. We're just always on here trying to give you guys you know, some could be, you know what i'm thinking like this could be like if you color the the nose cookie this could be a reveal cookie baby gender reveal cookie. oh could yeah it you could, could put a colored cookie dough um for the for the nose so yeah it's just it's cute just a design option Black, yeah, but I'm in Canada, and so things often don't ship to Canada, or the shipping is insane. So thank you, Lindsay, for others that might be interesting here. Have fun, Olga. Thanks for joining us. They all turned out great. So they, I think, yeah, I think the one on the on the left is a female. Party, nuts.com, party city in the US. I don't know, but Canada or Spain. Yeah, I don't think they have. They do have uh, um, a lot of different things here that are kind of similar to what I'm used to. They have their own, they sell Oreos, but they have their own like cookies that look kind of like Oreos. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. They have I a see. nice variety of uh, gummy candies, which I'm. That's very your good. thing. Yes, that's my thing. We're, I mean, I don't like to eat junk food, but the gummy candies, it's like I can't get away. Oh, look at them. Adorable. So this, I find, see, the little tongue shows up better on the, 
-hmm. the white there. Oh yeah, that's true. That's you know? true. Mm -hmm. But you could do a pink nose, get pink jelly beans. That would be cute. Thank you, Charlotte. And these are just yummy. And because here, let me just show you guys. I'll I'll sacrifice one of the dogs. Ooh, you got a dog. To show you, I'm going to break it. Okay, you need to go a little lower, a little lower. I just want to show you guys the, the cookie, how like thick, you see, and it's very, very soft cookie. So with the buttercream, it's like a, a little cake that you can pick up. So it's quite nice to eat with that consistency. So check out her recipe there, like I say on her blog, on Haniella's blog. It's in the supply list, the link. And if you don't want to get that, you just do a search. She has a search bar on her blog. Hey, Han. Yes, I do have a search bar. Everybody because raves. It's actually, it's actually when you go on the main, main page, I think the recipe is um, among the first images you'll see. Looks so yeah, you good. could do Stuart for sure, June. Yes, I think so too. They're so cute. I've and never done a doll. I'm like, I'm always terrified of doing a. Well, I've I seen know, this done. Hmm? I've seen this done often on cupcakes. Yes, on cupcakes. Yes. I've seen Stuart done on cupcakes, I think, June. I have a book, I think, that uh, it, it reminds me of Stuart. Thank you, Mary. So, Han? You're on the chop. You're, I was going to say the chopping block. I watched too much. <laughs> well, I guess with with me doing the vampire teeth, I'm gonna be. I don't know. <laughs> but the funny thing is that I also had it like on my tongue, you know, chopping board. All right. So first of all, I don't know how many of you have done any. Oops, have done uh, vampire teeth. Um, cookies or mouth or whatever. So for that, you need lips cookie cutter, right? And there are so many different variety of cutters. Well, not for the lips. <laughs> for the lips, I find there are two shapes that are that kind of work with this particular project. And um, I have them, I have both templates for the teeth listed in my coffee shop. You see here, so the one on the left, um, it's a bit, a bit wider and the one on the right, that's the one I'm going to be doing today. That's the shape I'm going to be doing today. So both shapes for the templates are listed in my coffee shop. Um, so here are the templates. Oops, if I can grab them. And this is Mylar. Now, you don't have to make the fangs as long as, as they are here, and I'm not going to make the fangs as long. And even if your shape, the cookie shape is slightly different, you're just looking for the mouth outline, basically. And you can make it a little wider if you need to. So now I'm just going to mark the section, just the outer perimeter of the mouth, so I know where to brush my icing. And I'm going to be using black and red royal icing. Now you could just use red. And then uh, that's how this is. This was done. The one on the left, I did everything with red and then I airbrushed the edges with black. Okay. So I'm not going to. Oh, should I do that? I did this. This is a bit of like a black with a little bit of red. So that's what I'll do. Okay. So, so hold on hand. Heather yeah. wants to know, uh, do you, did you hand cut this? Oh, no, 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 no. This is not hand cut. This is actually, um, um, I'm going to stand up. I think I have the cutter here. I have one of the cutters. This is the other cutter. I don't have the other cutter here. I think it's built on um, the shape I'm using. I believe it's a built on cutter. Okay. My... And actually, Anne Clark, Anne Clark has this shape. This is a, this is a, this is also built-in, and I think the, the um, this one is also built-in. But Anne Clark also has a similar shape to this. And you'll find that one during the Valentine's Day season. That's when they're mostly marketing it. 
Yes, this is such a nice, nice shade. So I did not hand cut these. Yes, thank you for. So what I'm going to change it up a little bit. So I'm going to do red because I was going to do it black, but now I just realized I might just do it red. Oh, my brush is a bit stiff. Do you have your little palette knife? Oh, I do have my little palette knife. Thank you for reminding me. It does help. Oh, so much easier. <laughs> is it a bit easier? Yeah, I would think. <laughs> yes, yes, it's definitely much easier. So while it's still wet, I'm going to take my black. And I'm just going to outline this. And I've done this with, uh, but for this, I need a brush. So I'm going to take the brush. And hopefully it's soft enough now. And I'm just going to bring the black, I don't know if you can see. Purity, if you're still watching, do you guys celebrate Halloween in Kenya? Is that a Halloween, a Halloween uh, celebration? I mean, that's done there. Some people. So after this, you need to let this kind of dry because it's such a. You see, this how thin that is. Yeah. It will take maybe 20 minutes. I did one that it's opposite. I did everything in black, and then I brushed in the red. Oh. So it's a little different. Okay, so now we need to do the teeth. Now for the teeth, you you can either just utilize this template and use a scribe. I'm just gonna use a scribe this here. Would be a, a fun cookie for a dentist. Oh yeah. Okay, so basically you're most interested about the top portion, so you can then divide it into little squares for the teeth. If you're really struggling, you can use the template and it has, you know, the teeth mark. Now, if you are not going to make the fangs that long, just don't make them that long because they uh, they actually go partially into the lower lip or the bottom lip, bottom lip. So I'm going to just do it by hand here. And I remember making these years ago, and I put five teeth between the fangs. And oh my goodness, I think my YouTube channel broke. Because <laughs> it was, uh, it was well, how dare did I do that? Oh my goodness. I'm like, it's a freaking vampire. Like, who cares? Well, they like to point out mistakes. Oh gosh, yes. His birthday was good, Joseph. Thanks for asking. Oops. Okay, so with, with the mark, with the scribe, you can you can see it's it's so easy to scratch. Now all we need is some white icing. I'm thinking I'm gonna go wild. Should I do them purple? If I had green icing, I would just do the teeth green. What do you think? I have purple. Anything goes. It's Halloween. Anything goes. Uh, what do you guys think? Purple? Purple teeth? Purple, teeth? purple lip. No, I see purple lips. Purple. Okay, purple lips. So orange teeth? Orange teeth. I no. get. <laughs> or, well, we could do candy corn teeth. Okay. I see nobody's playing, so I'm just going to do them white. <laughs> And for these, you want to do every other two. So if you're starting with your fangs, or the, the is it a, is it a singular fang, or is it? I, I think you can say one fang. Okay, so if you're starting with, with one fang, then you need to skip the two, the, this tube, and go, you know, every other, and then let it cross. This is reminding me of. Um... Because I just saw it the other day when I went through my seashells from when I went to, to uh, New, New Brunswick. 
my shark tooth that I found when I was looking for um, seashells. I found a shark tooth. But they they have a different shape, no? They have like yes. a very very. Yes. He needs to brush his teeth, but his teeth are orange. Well, lots of oranges, I suppose. So Heather's commenting that if he, his teeth are orange, he needs to brush his teeth a little bit better. A gothic lip, sure. Anne's a total goth. So after this, it takes maybe five minutes for it to crust, and then you can do the remaining teeth, all right? So while that's crusting, I'm going to move on a very popular subject, and that's royal icing transfers. And I've got a few, few of these. I had all of these listed in my coffee shop. These are all, essentially, these are sprinkles. When you think about them, think about it, right? Some drops of blood on the fangs. Okay, I'll take that to consideration. <laughs> and then I've got these are vampire teeth um, lips. I've got some ghosts. We have skulls and also um, pumpkins. So you can find five templates, and um, I have them at discounted price right now. Here I have these here. So I'm going to start on my candy corns. They're really cute on different cookies if you just want to add some fun yeah. colors. So I just wanted to show you. What is that? That's, <laughs> That's woo <-hoo. laughs> I've got um Oh your stockpile. I've got some. Now well, these are all flowers mainly. So there is only. Oh, I've got. I do have some Halloween stuff here. So I've got some eyes here. Okay, you can. These are really great. You can use this on anything, even cupcakes. And then I have uh, not so scary pumpkins. You know, I don't have a lot of scary stuff here, but this is the idea. So you can prepare ahead of time. Some of these are quite old, and they are still, you know. Edible. Reason I had a paper here, so I don't, uh, so there is not a lot of light accessing this box. I do have it in a dark spot in my closet. I had a couple of these, but this was this is the one I just filled up. Okay. All right. So now I'm just going to start. <laughs> Yeah, they're quite tasty. I mean, if you use good ingredients, um, they're quite tasty transfers. Do you ever munch on transfers, Mar, or is it? Um... No. No? All right, let me zoom in. Yes, they do, Karen, that's what she she covers yeah, them. They do, they do. I don't have them. There's no direct sunlight in my closet. Seriously, there's, it's like dark, but I still kind of like always in my mind worry that if there's, if I keep it open or something, a little bit of light gets, get in, gets in there. For example, your purple, if it's exposed to direct sunlight, it will turn to blue. And then over time, they will, they will fade if you keep them in the sunlight. Just like anything, if you keep a fabric in direct sunlight, it will fade over time. Right. I still mm -hmm. remember my my child my childhood photos, like me and photos at my grandmother's house of my pictures and me and my brother, we were we were white, like barely visible. It looked like a piece of uh, because she had them <laughs> she had them uh, in the living room. We were we were we would look like ghosts. You would look like ghosts. Well the the picture was so faded, like you could barely tell there was a person in the photo. I always struggle with candy corns. I don't know if anyone else. I always have to look up um, candy oh, yes. corn, the, the color order. I'm like, every year, every single year, I have to do that. 
every single year. I have well, it's to, because it's not proper. It should be white, yellow, and orange. Why is it not white, yellow, and orange? That's what messes. And today the I was actually looking up um, what is candy corn candy? Like, what's the flavor? So I found it's a marshmallow and caramel. Have you ever tasted that? I have tasted them. I, I wouldn't, I kind of get the caramel. I don't know about the marshmallow. Because I was going to make um, candy corn uh, cookies today. Um, the the color is colored dough. But because of me, um, the situation of me locking myself out of the house, I wasn't able to do that. Mm. Now I already used these, some of these on my gingerbread house. I was working yesterday on a house. Oh, you're out of frame now. Oh, I am? Okay. So now I'm just going to go with my scribe to shape it a little bit. Where it needs to be shaped. If you are going to do this, Yes. Everybody watching, start before you're planning on making your cookies because it, it really, you know, alleviates the stress if you can have these ready to go to pop onto your cookies. Oh, why do they break? Uh, what kind of royal icing are you using? Are, are you, how thin it is? It also, I don't know, sometimes if you beat your royal icing for too long, it weakens. Yes, yes. There's too much air in it. Too many, too many air bubbles. So that could be, that could be a reason why they're breaking. Any of you guys on TikTok? Oh, Mara has joined TikTok. I just opened a TikTok. Want to go? It's under Montreal Confections. I'm posting. My plan on TikTok is to start from the beginning. So right now, today, I posted a how to roll your cookies out. All right. So then you would just continue making them, you know, and then once they dry, you can peel them off and you can use them to decorate your cookies. So now, this is great. Is, is in your coffee shop? Is yes, it, actually five it, five of the templates, five Halloween templates are in my coffee shop. <laughs> you know, when you need to sneeze, but it's not happening. Um, I also have, uh, so we have the candy corn, ghost, uh, vampire lips, um, pumpkin, and um, a skull. So all five. Ooh. All five. It's a it's a nice bundle for Halloween. You can get uh, started, and these are really cute. These are small, so you can use them on your cookies. You know, if it, if they are too big, then it's really hard to kind of like yeah. you know use them. So they are they are on a smaller size. Those would make some good Pac-Man cookies. Oh yeah, these would. Yes. Are you a Pac-Man uh, player? Not anymore, but in my childhood, it was, um, was it Mrs. Pac-Man? I, I don't know. Don't ask me. So it was basically Pac-Man, but with a bow. And that's okay. the one I like to play. But I never really got into video games. We didn't have a lot of video games, I have to say. Well, I have always been obsessed with crafts and making stuff and so i was always in my room making something so now with the flag you can just drop eyes. and because these are too small you can make uh, one whole row at a time you know you can do all white and then so now here i've got 
Oh, some Miss Miss Pac-Man fans in the in the comments. Well, let me to do the last two steps. So I'll do the lips, and then um, I think my teeth on here are crusted, so we can get on those. So what's your um, consistency on those? This is about the honey. You don't want to use it. I think it's too honey. Then it spreads too much. Okay, and then you have to let these two crust, and then you can do the bottom. Yeah, it would work for Valentine's Day. Oh yeah, they will work for Valentine's Day. They're really, really cute without the fangs. All right, so I've got my teeth here, the mouth here. Okay, I'll do the skull. Uh, I've tried to do this because this has to crack before I do the lips. Any moms out there or maybe there's dads watching have their kids start school my son started college his first day of college yesterday back to school is in full force i'm seeing all over all over the world people are sending their kids to school i know the first day of school varies but i've been seeing it more i think australia mm -hmm. was the first to start and then you would always Started on September first. It was always yeah. Here, um, too. here too. That's the date. And then we could add some blood. So this is the one I did in the beginning. It's mostly dry. You see the, the middle here. It's a little shiny. I don't know if you can see. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So that's the section that is not dry yet. All right. So, oh, yeah, with some braces. Have you done a brace version? No, 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 cookies. I've done a cake with braces. Those were really, oh, yeah, that would be cool. <laughs> that would yeah. be really cool. All right. So, this how? Especially if your kid wears braces, sometimes they're a little bit, right? It's like uh, not, not um, you know. I have yet to meet a kid who kind of like um, they don't complain. Like I asked so many kids, like that you know, they um, they're like, no, it's not too bad. I don't know. Maybe they are more comfortable now than they used to be. I don't know. I think it depends on the degree of correction that you need. Because if you need a severe correction, I think that you know there's extractions and and a lot more um, of the turning. You know where they go in and they kind of tighten the braces and stuff. So I think the degree of, right, of crookedness and... It's such a process though. I find it, it's, uh, it fascinates me because if somebody needs a lot of correction, their teeth, right? Mm -hmm. it's, it's a bit of a process. This one is a little crooked, but it's okay. Grandson, first year of high school, that's exciting high school is like high school is tough though i gotta say i my kids now are both out of high school and high school is tough not the school part the whole social part oh yeah you had braces as an adult how was that june i've seen it more and more now that adults are getting braces and then there's also Invisalign. People are doing. My, uh, my, uh, my friend, she, well, she turned 40 and she got her braces. She had them for two or three years because it was so, yeah. you know, severe.
Well, I'll share a little story about my mom, my poor mom back in the day. They basically just ripped all her teeth out because uh, dentures were nice and straight. You didn't have to do anything. Imagine she was, I think, 15 when they pulled out all her teeth. Oh, no. it's, it's absolutely like crazy. The thing really? that people used to do. Yeah. And I mean, she didn't want, she, she her, her mother dragged, my grandmother dragged her to the dentist like this was the big solution they were gonna you know fix her crooked teeth and it was going to be so wonderful imagine you're 15 and you've got no teeth oh it's terrible the things they used to do huh yeah now if they could they would do a root canal on a baby mm. Oh. This looks like an alien. <laughs> uh, it's uh what's this it's sound? Not. There is a bit of a sound problem again. <laughs> What are you getting <laughs> This is an alien story. <laughs> oh, it cracks me up. Um, okay. Well, right, well, you get the idea. So I'm going to finish this. Cow. Oh, the lips. All right, does I think the lips are crusted. Are you going live again this week? Yes, tomorrow. What time? Uh, three o'clock. Tomorrow, Han will be live at three o'clock on Facebook or on Instagram? On Facebook, only on Facebook. I'm not uh, gonna do it on YouTube, it's only Facebook. 15. For some reason it wasn't populating the comments for the for the Facebook in StreamYard, oops. So is that 15 or 20 second consistency? This is 20. You want to yeah. use sticker icing because it's small. It's very small. So you like if you use icing that is too runny, you won't be able to get um, get the lips that fluffy. I'm going, to, you know. It's still very kind of wet. So now I'm going to do. Let's not do them red, huh? Let's do them uh, purple, you said? Hi, I think that's a nice Halloween lip color. Do you think I have enough purple? I have no idea. <laughs> do you have enough purple? I had a, I don't I have no idea what that is. What do you mean headgear? Like I've like, seen it, I think I've seen it in like, movies. It's you like it on your head, like head? Yeah, I'm not exactly sure, but it sounds uh dreadful. I'm really shocked that our generation doesn't have more problems than uh, <laughs> than we do, you know, like I don't know that they husband, that they tied him to the bed in the hospital. Did I tell you that? What? tied him to the bed in the hospital as a child because he was afraid of the hospital so he would actually kind of wander around and he would run away so they tied him to the bed who's this my husband oh yeah that's not going to traumatize a kid at all no that, definitely not but he remembers it like till the, to this day and he talks about that a lot it's like They say what doesn't kill you makes you stronger. All right, I'm 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 tempted to do a leopard. <laughs> if you have the colors. Well, I could do a purple. I have I've got purple, I've got black, and I've got uh, orange. So I could do purple lips with orange leopard. Go for what it. So here is going to be my outline for the lips. 
somewhere around there. I don't know. We'll see. Hopefully, I have enough purple. And hopefully, it's running enough. Okay, let's see. I'm going to have to look up the song. I didn't know they made a song about it. About what? What doesn't kill you makes you stronger. Oh, now I think I know the oh, song. It's the what's, it's the, the, the winner of uh, America's Got Talent. I listen to it all the time. Uh, what's her name? She now has her own show. Kelly oh, Clarkson. Kelly Clarkson? Yeah, yeah. What doesn't kill you makes you stronger. It's not true. Sorry. It's not always true. Um, My gosh. Jennifer's sister was also strapped in. No, oh, I had enough trying to see. Yeah, I like the purple. You like purple? Yeah, I like purple for Halloween sets. I find it, it it's it's a nice alternative to black. So like a purple bat or you know, like I find that it just mm -hmm. mixes it up a bit. Yes. I agree. Oh, I like it how it is. Yeah. Should I do anything with it? No, I, I kind of like it. I'm going to like just do this. A little reflection. And I'm going to kind of marble it in a little bit. Oh, it's raining. Oh, no, my succulents. Did you say, oh, no, or good? No, because they don't like water. I mean, it seems like uh, I don't even water. I mean, I, I'm so afraid to water them that they nearly died of drought at like, first. <laughs> but now it's raining. So I'm, I'm worried that they will get too much water. Well, I think they, I mean, it's normal to get rain. That's one thing, unless it's like torrential downpour, it's not a thing. It's, it's not a bad thing. I know what we need to do, a little sparkle. <laughs> Everybody's loving it. So Mary Jean's asking, what's the brand on your purple? I can't tell you that. No? Top no. secret? <laughs> Top secret. It's um, a Regal. Regal, so Americolor? Americolor. If you don't have Regal, I absolutely... Like I, for years and years, years, I've been using um, electric pink and sky blue. The best ever purple I was able to achieve was with the Duff colors. You know, Duff from um, the Charm, uh, what is one of the Charm City Cakes? So he had a line of food colors and he had electric purple. And that was the most beautiful purple I was able to achieve. And the closest I came is the, the combination of electric pink and sky blue or electric blue. But now regal purple is very, very nice, straight from the bottle. You don't have to like, because sometimes it's really hard to get that purple you want, but um, straight from the bottle. I love it. So were you using the scribe there? Uh, Kathy's asking of the pick that you're using. So this is a scribe I, I, I use. Um, most of the most of the days it's it's very sharp here so you can use it to kind of manipulate icing into small sections you want if you want to move the icing faster let's say if you are just a beginner um, I would recommend that you use a toothpick or you use one of these tools because these will give you more movement with your icing not so much precision but you'll be able to kind of ice your cookie faster and then you can use your scribe to um, like accentuate the corners or do do other things like that, you know? Should we do, we're almost at one hour. I like it. I like it a lot. Uh, very nice. Uh, Mary Jean, you know what I found with the, the purple food gel? I find that it, it doesn't have an eternal uh, shelf life. Like I've had some food gels for a very long time and they work great, but the purple seems to expire and then gets like dingy in my experience. 
So maybe it's just time for a new bottle. I don't know how old yours is. Try to add if you have, do you have glitter? I don't know. Um, I've had uh, electric paint, but that was, I don't know how many, how, how old. Um, I had it turn into this um, like gunk, you know, like yeah. it was very like, I tried to reconstitute it with uh, corn syrup or glycerin, but um, it somewhat worked, but you have to let it kind of like sit and then shake it and sit and let it, you know, shake it to kind of give it some time yeah. for the glycerin to kind of like work and soften that. What's your glitter? The glitter, okay, let me just bring up my box. On this cookie, because nobody's going to eat it, I'll be very honest, I'm using non-toxic um, stuff, but for the eating, For sure. You want to use um, FDA approved if, if somebody is going to eat it. Not that you're going to die with uh, die from eating a little bit of um, you know sparkle that is non-toxic, but I you know if you are doing this for a business, I do not recommend it to use it um, for things that you're gonna eat. So here are some. Uh, Here's uh, one one stash, and so uh, jewel dust. Yes, that's the one I really like to use. Jewel dust. Um, this is the one I think you have. White diamond, right, Mara? Oops, you can see. Yeah, I have some of that. Yeah, the thing that uh, most of this stuff is initially designed for cakes, and it's a lot easier to remove cakes, like decorations, mm -hmm. and then eat the cake. You know, with cookies, it's tougher. The application is quite difficult with this because it has the, the holes here are quite big. So if you yeah. try to pour it out, so what I do, I always, I mean, there are sprays. I don't have the spray, but I always see it's everywhere. It's flying my head. <laughs> I'll be all um, glittery. And then um, and these are some uh, just luster dust. But yeah, I also, yeah, jewel dust. And I've had... Um, and if I can add one little thing about the glitter, be careful where you buy your glitter because if you're buying stuff on Amazon, sometimes it's coming from China and it's actually, they market it like it's food, but it's not, it's actually plastic. Yeah. But be careful. This, this is from um, the cake cake place that I, I like. Um, I can't remember now the name. Um, Evil, Evil Cake Genius, Evil Cake Genius. I think, yeah, I also have pink one, which is quite lovely. I wanted to show you the pink one. This is a mess. It's a mess. It's a mess anyway, yes. So they also have, this is also, this is rainbow dust, and it's called edible glitter. I don't know if you've seen this. This mm -hmm, one that mm -hmm. you know, like a coarse texture. But it is uh, shiny. Well, I was at Michael's, not to torture you because you don't have Michael's anymore. But I was at Michael's and they came out with um, Sweet Tooth Fairy has a new line and their um, silver and gold sanding sugar is gorgeous. Oh, here they are. I don't know if Ro is Roxy and Rich Glitters, are they FDA approved or are they? they? Are. They're actually made in uh, Quebec. Oh, they are. Yeah. And this is, uh, look how shiny that is. And this, is, also, shiny. this is silver. Jewel dust, and you really don't need a whole lot. Where's my pink? Oh, here's my pink. I love the pink. I've used it on my snowflakes. This is very, cool. yes, beautiful. This is like, you know, uh, gold because these things, they are, you know, this jewel dust, this is green. I mean, I have, you know, quite a lot of these. This is $8. So this yeah. small thing is $8, but it does last for a while. You know, it's not like you, unless you spill it, obviously. Then, if that happens, you can take parchment paper and just try to like lift up as much as you know humanly possible. Okay. Should I do? We are we are we are on time, so I don't have to do the. Yeah, the it's a sweet tooth fairy sanding sugar. So they came out like I was there. Sweet sugar bell came out with her, like she's relaunched in uh, Michael, so she had liquidated there and now they're back and uh, sweet tooth fairy also came out with her they're both american crafts 
and a beautiful sanding sugar. Oh, I have to go. There is, there is a local local decorating uh, store here. <laughs> yes, it's yes. But you really don't. I mean, I don't know if you use a lot of the disco, like the the sparkles and stuff. I really I don't. don't use a whole lot of it. It's very uh, like I did add some on the purple just because it's how like I don't know. Halloween seems to be the the perfect. Yes, it's so nice. It's I, I do like the sanding sugar because price wise it's considerably cheaper yeah, and it's just yeah, yeah. more suited for the cookie uh you know medium in my mind anyway yeah yeah, yeah exactly for little details i like i like that but not i wouldn't like cover my whole cookie in it like i feel no. like that's too, no. too much exactly exactly a little too much so tomorrow I'm going to be finishing up my gingerbread house i actually i'm doing four gingerbread houses today i had a meltdown because I realized I made my roof too long. Oh. So I'm trimming off the, uh, I trimmed off some of the pieces and um, yeah, so that's what I'm going to be, I'm going to be oh, doing tomorrow. And then it, right? Friday, we're going to be back on Friday with another live, decorating live, but with, I'm going to um, be sitting, sitting with Amber. Yes, I don't know what you guys are doing. What's the plan? I think I'm going to do some um, glowing Halloween cookies. Glowing Halloween cookies, awesome. That sounds really fun. Again, the templates for these are available for this particular set and the um, and this cutter are available in my coffee shop, guys. So if you want to check it out. So thanks for joining us, everyone. And we'll see you, or Han will see you tomorrow, and I'll see you on Friday. All right, bye. Bye, guys. Bye, everybody.